Hello out there and welcome back to Night in the Woods. I'm Eric with Perspective Gaming and we've got a ghost hunt to get started on. So without further ado, let's start ghost hunting with Angus. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got in the teeth of the frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Yes, I remember we read this. It's whatever. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Probably a wise choice, May. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Well, we'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods? Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Whee! Very pretty. Kind of a straight line. Hi, Angus. You didn't move quick enough. Furnace, I think? I think maybe a, maybe a stone oven for cooking for picnics? Huh. <sighs> huh. <sighs> you alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry you got away for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Limestone. You like do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh! Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like... This was all underwater or something at one point. No way! I mean, rocks don't lie. Like right where we're standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. I am hiding in the kiln. No one will find me. Oh no, he found me. Puff, puff. Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. No problem. Puff, puff. So if this place was underwater, why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. I think all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. <clears throat> to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. It occurs to me that you'd, you'd probably think that... Uh, it seemed pretty boring to the sharks, and this would seem really weird and interesting. Puff. 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 <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Huh. Sorry. Ugh. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. You should. I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animal. You know they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no prob. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Wee. 
Wow. Wow? My old scout camp. Used to come up here with my troop. Like a decade ago. You're the ancient sea monster now. Looks like it. God, he's so much taller than me. Oh, okay. Wow, it looks like some of the whirly note things came back. The what? We uh, made these little windmill things and each put up an anonymous note in them. Attached to this little spring controlled helicopter. The idea was that when the wind picked them up, the windmill would wind wind the helicopter up and the note would fly away. Looks like some of them blew back. That's an amazing coincidence. Oh no, that was the idea. Each year we'd read notes left behind from the year before. I'm gonna see if I can find any more. I'm gonna hike up here, been a while. That's what the whirly things were for. I, I, I didn't know. I think there are some more. I spotted them. Oh cool, gonna look. Aye aye. Got one. Got another. And yet a third. This is too many. I think I got all of them. We'll see. I mean, we probably won't see, but we'll get to read four, and four is pretty good. Hiya! I think you got them all, from what I can spot at least. And I got the high vantage point. Let's read them, let's read them, let's read them! Wait, should we though? We gotta leave them for the scouts. Oh, it's fine. Anyone's up here wouldn't last the winter anyway. Okay, 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 let's read one. Okay, here's one. Hi, I'm not supposed to write my name. And that's fine because I am a scout. And that's the only name I need. Wow, that's intense. It goes on. The scouts gave me more than a name. They gave me badges to show my worth. Jeez. I would kill for the scouts. That's it. Were you all like this? Kinda, sometimes, no, maybe. Okay, let's read this here. Read it! <laughs> oh dear. What? I am super, super gay. <laughs> nice! Angus, did you write this one? Jeez, I could have. I think my note was about being strong and good. And gay as hell, apparently. I think my total gayness came out in through to the discerning reader. Alright, let's read this note. Hem. I like shooting arrows. Eh. I like shooting arrows, they are cool to shoot. In fact, I think we should shoot arrows instead of guns when we're in the army. It has a tactical advantage in that it is silent and also elegant. Huh. Yeah, I got nothing. Alright, this one's kinda torn up. Maybe a bird got it. Read the bird note. I am extremely unhappy and you're the only person who knows. Oh. Okay. That's a lot to drop on a stranger. Hmm. What? Not much changes. Could have just as easily been our notes from ten years ago. Yeah. There's like a... Timelessness. About people. Some things just don't stop being what we are. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. I didn't know about that segment. That's- that's awesome. Again, I love this game. That, that like little things like me jumping on the windmills episodes and episodes ago led to that moment that was kind of cool. That was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Yeah, we sure wanted to get here before it was dark. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in Possum Massacre. That, like, harbor strike... That labor strike thing? That harbor strike! When the harbor jumped up and punched us. Labor strike! <laughs> Where it was, like, the Miners versus National Guard it happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys, and some of the Miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh, huh. 
There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see, nothing left to be scary. Be right back. I am back. Let's go. Wow, we're you're up really high and really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us behind whatever ridge that is. So what are we supposed to do? Just wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and stories and stuff. I wish, I wish, I can never remember them, them other than, I think that up one, Eric, come on. I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at Longest Night Bonfire? We spotted the constellations together? You told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Uh, whichever. Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has that telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Huh, that was weird. Something that goes to there? No. Okay, they are, sort of. It's a Pope! He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom, my, my mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. That's sad. You have to, it's, it's, it's a weird actual connect the dots. Oh, down here, maybe. There we go. I'm making a ruby from Legend of Zelda. It's a whale. And it's got like the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. That's legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean like these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something. 
They didn't know what the Earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. I'm glad that these are basically just circles, because man, this could get to be nightmarish. Is it just triangle? It's just triangle. There's the bell. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Okay, that's, uh, I know this one, uh, a little from like prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings? That makes sense. It's gonna be real loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, basically no sound, usually. It sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not gonna get rung to death by a bell. Rung to death. Last one. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out. What's the difference between a cat that's a cat and a cat that's a cat human cat? <laughs> he's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I don't know this one. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god. Yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Okay, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest, was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from the king and got arrowed to death. But it was slick enough, he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. We're, like, way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever... Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've to ever told you. Or how much Greg has told you. But I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. She like wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now, haha. <laughs> She'd like shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. All the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me up there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started to feel guilty, too, for some reason. Like, someone's, this was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid! Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever question can I go kick all their asses like I've got experience I can F some shit up well my mom is kind of old now I uh, still have to visit her sometimes I have a brother he's overseas in the army my dad left like 10 years ago so who knows where he is or if he's even alive if he is alive I don't want to know about it Angus I just want to give you a hug forever <laughs> well I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like, yeah. Anyway, the original question, testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet 
And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or no. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or God. So, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so, like, the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the space between stars. Like, we're pattern finders, and we'll all find patterns. And we, re like, really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but, like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Ooh. There's someone standing behind us. Raise your hand if you noticed. I didn't. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about us being a living person. Standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We're, you need to get to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven on earth or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go! Deep breaths. In. Out. All right. Ah! Past the graves. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> He's so fast! <sighs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or... <sighs> it was... Uh, some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get loads of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you were up th where you threw up. Uh, that wasn't too far from up there. Uh, uh, why does nobody believe me? May, it's like every other explanation is more likely than ghosts. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry, grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. Angus is psychic. But he ha but his hat blocks it. Hey dad. Hey you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, am I sore tonight. I need a back brace or something. How'd you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping all around all crazy. I don't know, I mean I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. Your job don't require much like that. Yeah. 
Heard you and mom went on an adventure today. <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. You should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. You don't think about that, but how the pattern of the game goes is that you you miss the entire day with your family, pretty much. But they're right. That's the that is what's going on. Hey! Oh, cool! I do actually get to keep the things. I was like, I don't remember that axe being there, and then I remembered that was yesterday. That was last last playthrough. We grabbed all the lock and key and stuff, and we do get to keep them. That's awesome. Hey, be you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did! Wow, okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is annoyingly strident atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah! Okay, whatever. Sorry. For what's it, what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. <clears throat> you have a good time otherwise? Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He had kind of a rough life. Oh yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? <clears throat> uh, because Angus and I have been friends since like 8th grade. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm, Angus is good. He is. I'm going to sleep. Talk to you later. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, he did. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was that effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. KK. Hey, May. <laughs> hey, May. This is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird. But there are folks that live up there in the park. And there are hunter hunting camps and stuff. So it was most likely a guy on early buck. <laughs> Dude, I feel it. I know. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. For Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. <laughs> you can put Greg back on. <laughs> this was in Greg's font. I don't know. Hey, 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 dude. I'm an artiste. Were you just doing an art rise just now? Sure was. All right, off to bed. Night, dude. Hey, May, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart. I have a great ass. Blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on. I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. It's a dick with his hat on it and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Look like you two are wrapping up. Peace out, yo. Hey, May, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> good stuff good stuff bedtime yes I can't see. Oh, I can see me. I begin to exist. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm kind of, 
at a loss because of how much we covered with Angus there of things to talk about, but it's it's a lot, huh? So Angus was abused and maybe even had some suicidal thoughts, but Greg came through for him. Good luck for all of us. Very cool backgrounds. Um, I thought it was very interesting. We'll get to him or her or them or it or whatever in a second. Um, I thought it was very interesting that the camera kept panning between the different constellations as they talked. I, I don't. I didn't want to like waste a bunch of time thinking about why they would pan to certain ones during certain conversations. Maybe I'll think about it as I'm reviewing this, but probably not. But I did think it was interesting because um, those were probably chosen intentionally. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So, seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me, and I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here, then, and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other ghost animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all, I lost it. Okay, so a great beast is walking through the sands and they are climbing into the air and now they are making a tear and now they are gone and now you are here. A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives and they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. That's not a cat. That's a big buggo. Ah! Oh god, oh god! They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond, and now there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about trees and fall? What about the leaves? Bare existence, meaning nothing. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. 
before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. <laughs> Hello! Thoughts? Questions? I'll give you some time to think about it on your own before I start giving away answers, and then we will dive into that sometime during the rest of this video. But yeah, was it real? What does it mean? It's something. Morning at the pickaxe if you're ready if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Hey dude. At the old Snalkin. Come save me from Boredom Supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. A message. Planets are to be pitied, etc. etc. Technomy today. Turn up founder Mike Eggplant to buy postal service. Let's go! Whee! So I'll talk to mom and get into town before we start. I start going into a, a longer diatribe about the game. Bird. I kind of get you, you know? Now, all tra like trapped in sh Bird, I kind of get you now. All like trapped in shit. I should let you out. Nah. Oop. Honey, you okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey. Is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I might, I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. And you were a miracle, baby. That's me. A miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... No, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. Big eye, so weird. You know, if you did have a baby... Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited around gra about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. If it was a boy, we could name him Calvin. Oh god, mom. If it was a girl, you could name her... Trash Baby? Cordelia. Why don't... Why don't... Why don't I have, just have the baby and hand it to you? Oh, that was... Okay. I was confused about that sentence. I don't think there was a pointer saying who was talking. If there was, I missed it. Ooh. Okay, bye. I'm leaving. Patch things up with mom a little bit after yesterday. Let's see what's going on in town. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem to cheer you up? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Ha <laughs> ha. There's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay. Jazikov's up there again. He ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He's hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works up at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers? Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. 
Should be every night. Selmers, try talking to him. You won't know unless you try. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. So let's see what our constellations are for today, and then we can talk what happened in the dream. May! Mr. Chazikov, you look a bit worse for wear today, May. I'm a little more Russian than usual. I'm, I'm always a little Russian, but now it's extra. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars? You know it. Come have a look. They don't they didn't repeat the joke. They still did the the blinding flash, but they didn't make you scream. Come on. There we go. I think I got one. Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole? I know a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was for us was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't that a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Not really. I like home. I like my neighborhood. I like the bad diner food. It is not good. But it's good bad. Like a story your friend wrote and gave you to read. I like the disco fries. So what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One, one. Gotcha. Ooh, which one is this? Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one! It's a common story. How Adina journeyed into the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. It was very... I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah! How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she is never seen again. Yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? No, disappearing isn't the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely, and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so whatever. Oof, that's all for today. That was nice. Pretty sweet. The stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Let's talk dream sequence. I've been highlighting a few things for you guys to keep track of while you've while we've been playing. Um, things like uh, mental illness, things not wanting to change and all that kind, not wanting things to change, all that kind of stuff. We, we haven't addressed all of that yet. The game is still ending, but we're starting to see some of it come together. And while I think it could easily be argued whether or not the dream was, the dreams have been real or have been in May's head, I don't think that's the point. What they do bring into this game is a very different but very you know, connected version of the Lovecraftian mythos. This idea that there are things out there that are bigger than us and that can be scary that there are things bigger than us out there. And these dreams help tie that in because she's having these sort of prophetic dreams that are common in Lovecraft's stories, particularly the Call of Cthulhu, 
and we meet a creature that is godlike but doesn't care about us. And it just sort of ties all of that in. This is sort of a retelling of a Lovecraft story in a way, but it's very different. And we'll highlight how different actually when I get to my essay on this game when we finish. I've got a big plan now, but feel free to think about that, ponder all your ideas, that kind of stuff, as you will. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult, nothing. Sounds good. Was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally, let's. My friend Casey used to come out here and smoke. I used to smoke when I was younger. I'm allergic, but my friend B does it around me anyway. How long do you do it for? Did you do it for? Okay, it was once when I was younger, though. I was 12. Good age to quit. I could vape. You could vape. I'm not going to vape. Probably a good idea. Um, cat interrupting. My cat is in front of us. Willow, I love you. I This is important. Remember the thing we squished on the tracks last time? Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? What are you doing? Going to make it flatter? Kind of, but no. You'll see. I'm going to pick a new thing to squish him with. Him with. All right, then. You know what we don't have around here? A taco place? Serial killers. Oh, yeah, hmm. I mean, I'd vote for us getting a taco place first, but... Yeah, we never got around to getting our own serial killer. That's what you think. You ever think about murdering someone? Okay, like, okay, so a few longest nights ago, I went to Bright Harbor with my aunt and cousin, and we went on the subway. And there's, like, no railing down there above the tracks, and I had this sudden urge to, like, shove someone off it. It was weird, and I felt guilty about it for a long time. But, like, I didn't actually do it, so, I mean, is that normal? I think that's pretty normal. I guess you actually did try to kill someone. That was different. How? That was, like, not planned. And I wasn't trying to kill him. It was just a thing that happened. So, yeah. It wasn't like my first step on the way to serial killer dumb. Sorry. This terrifi terrifies me, by the by. I hate... I, oh, God, this is horrifying. <clears throat> it's cool. You know what I like? Tacos? Pictures of the meteor that killed the dinosaurs. Where the dinosaurs were watching it in the sky. Oh, yeah. That's like every single picture of that meteor. Weird. Wonder if they knew. Why are these trains scheduled so close together? And always right across each other at this exact point. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Yay! Oh god, your little dudes are... It like hurts my soul. It speaks. The art speaks, May. It calls my name. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, it was. I gotta get going. Things are, like, hectic right now. Oh, what's up? Uh, jeez. Just, like, be careful, okay? How so? Like, go home at dark. There's some bad stuff going on. Like what? Oh, God, I don't even know where to start. Just, like, be careful. All right. Thanks for the warning about whatever you're warning me about. Don't mention it. Laters. <laughs> I 
And there's more to discover. We aren't done with the themes and stuff of the game yet, just because we kind of hit the point where it's officially Lovecraftian-ish. But we'll see more before long. Ooh, I was starting to wonder if he wasn't here. Hey, can you do me a f hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you, and I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing her job away. She's a pastor after all. Folks need her. Why am I telling her this? Because I won't be there to do it. I'm gonna hop a train tonight, headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. I'm gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy, poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad, and I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice getting to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Because there will be children here. This is a historic church. That's half empty. Your job is to fix. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our numbers on. It's our number one job right now bring business men to town. Business means job and jobs means people. We have, to, we have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums... Thanks for your time. We'll see you in the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Katie. Kate? Katie? I don't know what my brain's doing right now. I'm kind of out of it. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Ah, stressful day. Some days you need more grace than others. Was all this about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever, it's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like... Things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? don't think it was a dream oh wow that happens right or like happened sure can you tell me a little bit about it it was like the shore of this giant black ocean it wasn't a lake it was an ocean i could see like forever into the sky and below it was just sand as far as i could see i was wandering through it but I was like drawn to something and I came over this, what do you call a hill made of sand? A dune? Yeah, a dune. And there was God just sitting there up on another hill or dune or whatever, just hanging out. Yeah, seemed like they were really just into hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They like didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean they didn't care in general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions and annoyed that anyone through thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think it was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that 
the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about this giant hole in the center of everything, growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes, I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most efficiently. I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God for at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. You really think there's a God? Like literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh? On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But... But you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself? Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believed that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor. And you can't tell me whether or not God is up there, or whether anyone is watching? Anyone who gives a shit? No, but... Then what was the point of you? I have to go. Okay. Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. But you have to work because we have so many... So we have money problems. Sorry you have to work because of money problems. May I've always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See you, mommers. See you, daughters. Daughters is very cute. Looking like this might be a long episode, but I want to keep us on track towards ending on... Ending just before October or just in October. So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers. You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since Harfest. Okay, well, I think I might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I could ask my aunt. Some place called Mulvey. Mulvey? You know someone from Mulvey? Yeah. Do you know where Mulvey is? Do you know what Mulvey is? No. I heard about Mulvey. My dad drives a bread truck. Mulvey used to be one of his stops. What happened? He doesn't stop there no more. They had to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulvey? I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. We'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to get back to the sun now. I don't know. I don't know. Hey. Hey, Angel, this is my friend May. Hey, May, what's up? Cool name. Gracias, much obliged. Angel's in town between trains. Going west next. Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Ang Angel Angel. Eh. Ang Angel. You might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Have you ever met anyone named Casey out on the rails? Mm, let me think. You know what he or she looked like? He, he looked kind of like me. A little taller, orangish hair. Nah, man, I don't recollect. But I seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. 
I tell you what, I'll ask around and if I find him, or someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot, I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world, run by the worst people. And good men die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Yeah, thanks again. What's traveling like? It's good, it's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the exact opposite problem. All right, partner, it's time for me to shove off. See ya, Angle. <laughs> angle? Stay safe. Adios. Well, that's over. No fun? No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost germ. A real-life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Jeez. Well, dinner time. See ya. Nope, nothing up there. All right, one last area to explore, and then we can end today's episodes right at the beginning of our next event again. What's up, neuter? Hey! How you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I slipped into the very... I saw some space bugs. No, not space bugs. Like, not bugs. And not in space. Like, things beyond bugs. In some place beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. Oh, awesome. She's the best. She really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So what's up? Just checking in for now. So I say to her, Mabel, get off the dang table. <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both danced on that table and nearly broke the damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. They're friends about more than just sports. Good for them. What's in the news? Coyote wandered into a snack falcon out past Brittle. Just like, walked in? Yep, sat in the sandwich cooler. Did it eat a sandwich? According to these, the coyote just stared at the cashier. That's spooky. Coyote's a spooky animal. Nothing else? You're boring and I find you distasteful. Away! Hey, May. Hey, dude. Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. Let's go on up. I'm a failure! Whoa, what are you doing up here? Uh, um, what are you doing up here? I live here. On the roof? No, in town. Noted. You're gonna fall and kill yourself. Noted. I'm like, trying to see the town from above. Oh, okay. Gonna draw a map of town center. Don't they have maps? Like they make them with satellites from space? Eh, I like making them. They're delightful. I like maps. Everything's so tiny, right? Well, be careful. I'm up here because I'm a professional. I have the shoes for it. Okay, thanks. If I see you in the news with a broken spine, 
Just don't say I didn't warn you. I probably won't be saying anything. Oh, right. Good point. Have fun. Wee. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Okay. How'd you find this place? I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid, but I only got up the nerve to break in recently. Why's that? Not getting any younger. And this place could fall in any day. You get to a point in life where the number of first evers gets lower and the number of never agains gets higher. I don't know. I know what you mean. No, you don't. I know that, you know that guy across town? What guy? The guy I told you about. Yeah? He seems lonely. And you seem lonely. Um, you two could play together. Uh, did I make this weird? No, it's fine. What's he play? Violin, fiddle, are they the same? Huh, okay. If you see him again, tell him to stop by. Unless he's a creep or something. He doesn't seem like a creep. Well, I got mace. I know I'm missing some of those, but that's whatever. I don't need to 100% the game. I'm already choosing not to in some ways. Whee! All right, I'm going to real quick run over and see if I can talk to the violin player again or not. I don't think I can. I think I just have to talk to him tomorrow, but I'm not certain. And we'll head to the old pickaxe. Nope, can't talk to him again. Didn't didn't think so, but I wanted to double check real quick. Let's get this day over. Up. Oh. <laughs> over. Hey B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. Want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof, what are you up to today? Wandering around town. Have fun. After totally not looking up which day this was online to make sure I knew what was going on, uh, let's, let's do this one. It's cool, I'm busy. And Greg and Angus have my car tonight, so I'm stuck home anyway. Oh, okay. See what they're up to, maybe. They're going somewhere or other. I'm not. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know that's how that worked. I thought you could just choose on this day, but actually it has to do with who you hung out with more. Interesting. Well, we won't get to see my favorite part of the B story, but uh, we will get to, I will get to do my first playthrough with the Greg story and get the achievement. So what's up? You wanna hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll. Huh, so this is the thing. This is the thing. It's kind of our son. We brought him into this world. Well, you helped. Kind of smells weird. Anyway, what are we doing tonight? I don't know. We have B's car. Oh, really? We should go to Donut Wolf. Oh, yeah? I haven't been there since I got back. I need some of those sl slammer cakes. They have pancakes now, too, for some reason. Ooh. Hey, Cap'n, Donut Wolf. Ugh. I read that weird. They got pancakes now. Fine. 
Ride the chariot to Donut Hell. Ow! Legends. And that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. Whatever you like your average is any better. Angus, you've been really quiet. Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes! Hey, Angus? Angus? Hey. You're gonna get them flapjacks. Angus? Aging Dr. Jackson? Dr. Flap Jackson? Please report to my belly. Okay, yes, pancakes. Dude. Dude. God. Damn. It. Whoa, did we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, Donut Wolf. May. We'll get there. We'll push the car. Okay, you all stay in here. Because it's a flat. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't. It messes up the wheel or something. How do you know so much about cars? We can fix it. With what? We gonna get some sticks? That's silly. No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do when they have a goddamn tire. Guys, why are you being such a dick? Why am I the one? It has to be the responsible one. Guys? What, May? Don't yell at May! Ah, I'm gonna wander. Fine. Fine! Okay, ah! So, we are going to call it there. Sorry for the slightly long episode, but I'm trying to keep us moving. Um, along at a pace. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. It all helps. If you're loving the channel, subscribe to become a main character of the channel. And whatever the case, have a great day. Bye.